The District of Columbia, along with more than a dozen other states, suing TikTok. Fox 5's Homa Bash tonight in the newsroom with those details. Hi, Homa. Hey, Marina. These lawsuits accuse TikTok of being dangerous, especially when it comes to kids and teens. D.C.'s Attorney General joining 13 states in suing the social media platform today, saying the app is harmful to both their mental and physical health, and that they make the algorithm knowingly addictive. I guess the actions that they're taking, including the AG actions against Facebook, is part of a bigger problem, and that is we have very, very little on the books at a national level. There's very few federal laws in place around online safety. So what is the overall goal here? Well, D.C.'s AG says they want to force TikTok to correct its, quote, harmful and deceptive consumer practices, essentially tighter restrictions for minors. The filing also claims that TikTok not only enables sexual exploitation of children through live streaming and virtual currency features, but it also profits from it, getting a 50 percent commission from each financial transaction. Now, this is just the latest in a string of lawsuits against the app, with the federal government seeking to ban it completely, and the Department of Justice filing its own claims about a lack of privacy protection for kids. I spoke to one tech expert who's also a former school administrator about how much of this should be policy and how much falls to parenting. It is a huge part of parenting, but when we know sort of like how cigarettes were so bad and the feds stepped in and helped us with that, the expectation from my point as a parent of four teenagers is definitely that we're both going to be doing our job. And she tells me that lawmakers in Great Britain started regulating social media platforms about a decade ago. So she's grateful that American policymakers are finally starting to wake up and seek those changes. TikTok, meanwhile, keeps saying the same thing, that they do have safeguards in place. In a statement to Fox 5, a spokesperson said they strongly disagree with the lawsuit's claims. And they add that they've been working with these AGs for more than two years to come up with solutions. Jim. All right, Homa, thanks. Staying on the